Wow, Eminem, the Marshall Mathers LP. We all have gaps in our musical knowledge, musical history. This is one for me. So here we go. It is uncut as always on the Patreon. Link down in the description. Come and join the realest one. Support the channel. Otherwise, Marshall Mathers LP, Eminem. Let's do it. As you can see, I like to do my best around here, but that also means I like to smell my best. And that's where today's video sponsor comes into play. Scentbird has been reimagining how people discover, shop for, purchase, and experience fragrances. They let you choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for just $17, and they come in these awesome vials. What's great about Scentbird is each of these vials is a 30-day surprise. You can experiment with different fragrances rather than being locked into one bottle that can cost like over $150. So it works, you get this vial, roll it, a little bit of scent, then you can even pop the vial out. This is one of the ones that they sent me, bespoke from Joseph Abu. I personally like a scent with a bit of depth. I'm a big oud guy. So I picked this one. It has those smoke wood tones that I love. Honestly, wearing a high quality fragrance like this, it gives me uh, confidence. And it's not just about appealing to other people. It's about expression and even individuality. They also sent me Leighton from Parfum de Mali, which again has these woody notes. But it's a little bit lighter, more of a day fragrance. Get yourself involved with Scentbird. Make sure you use my coupon code Denton for 55% off your first month's order. Link down in the description and is available in the US and Canada. Thanks to Scentbird for sponsorship. Check out the links below the like button. Slim Shady does not give a fuck what you think. If you don't like it, simpler you can times suck 22 years cock. ago. Sue me. When I was just a little baby boy, my mama used to tell me these crazy things. She used to tell me my daddy was an evil man. She used to tell me he hated me. The stuff about his mother is always when you just listen a little bit harder. I mean, it's pretty clear, to be honest, and, and fairly obvious to listen to. But I think, it's, obviously, the song's been played for years, and people would just nod along to it, and it's quite an extreme chorus. But listen to what he's saying here about his mother. You think I won't choke no more to the vocal cords? Don't work in the throat no more? These motherfuckers are thinking I'm playing, thinking I'm saying this shit cause I'm thinking it just to be saying it. Put your hands down, bitch. I ain't gonna shoot you. I'ma pull you to this bullet and put it through you. Shut up, slut. You're causing too much chaos. Just bend over and take it like a slut. Okay, ma? Oh, now he's raping his own mother, abusing a horse, snorting coke, and we gave him the Rolling Stone cover. Kill you. You ain't got the balls to beef. We ain't gonna never stop beef, and I don't squash the beef. You better kill me. I'ma be another rapper dead for popping off at the mouth. What shit I shouldn't have said? Who wanna fuck with Shady? Yeah, you forget, don't you? You forget quite how extreme the lyrics are, quite how intense it is. And obviously, it's funny, and when I was younger, you just laugh it off. But I think just kind of getting to the psyche of a man, especially back then, is fascinating. Listen, a lot of this stuff was said for shock value, and it was a time where shock value carried, and, you know, he was completely game-changing back then and still continues to be. And, you know, these days, I think he does too much, he tries to put too many bars in, go off and off and off. Obviously, he's doing a double-time raps in a lot of his songs these days when he's just a bit more measured. I know it's weird to call this song measured, but it's so much more effective. Well, fucking kill you. Bitch, I'ma kill you. Like a murder weapon, I'ma conceal you. When a cloth with dildo, sheets, pillows, and film you. Them event? No. Him and him on the soul. And if you ever give it to him. It makes me laugh. Sorry to pause it again, but we've all heard this song. It makes me laugh that these days, a lot of people are going, Lil Nas X is corrupting the children, corrupting the youth, right? Corrupting the youth by twerking on the devil and stuff. I heard it again the other day. This is 22 years ago. And like I always say, my mum used to listen to Black Sabbath, Ozzy Osbourne biting their heads off bats. And they said that music was satanic back then. They said that some of the Beatles music played backwards was satanic. And even before that, rock and roll was the music of the devil. There's always been this fear, this threat of the youth being corrupted, right? And it, this is just a continuation of that. So to think that that's only happening now, by the way, Little Nas X twerking on a devil is significantly more tame than any of this track. That's such an amazing fucking bar. That blood stain is orange, but it, you know that after washing it, and then he mentions Norman, obviously from Psycho, and he's talking about Psycho who obviously kills his mother, has a stuff. That's such an amazing line. The way things seem, I shouldn't have to pay these strings to say these G's a week to say the same things twice. Twice, whatever, I hate these things. Fuck Brilliant. shots, I hope the weed will outweigh these drinks. I don't even believe in breathing, I'm leaving air in your lungs just to hear you keep screaming for me to seep it. I don't even believe in breathing, I'm leaving air in your lungs to keep hearing you screaming. Oh, man, what the fuck? This is why I criticize his music more recently. Because, yeah, there's no doubt he can rap and rhyme at a level that most people can never, ever get to, right? But he's never saying anything. Like, that line is fucking incredible. 
Imagine having that come out of your brain, whether it's your Slim Shady brain or your Marshall Mathers brain. There are some amazing lines in the song, the construction of it, the concept of it, the harshness of it, the extremity of it. Obviously, just the, the way that the beat sounds and it's kind of a little bit jaunty but sinister as well. It's masterpiece stuff, man. It's masterpiece stuff. Like I say, of course I've heard this song. Of course I've heard Stan, which talk about album album sequencing coming straight after this is mad. And, you know, some of these other tracks on here as well. They're massive, massive, massive radio hits. So I'm not here trying to pretend that I haven't. But there's also a bunch of songs, all the album tracks, I've never heard before. So I'm fascinated to hear them as well. This is held up as a true classic of the genre. And it's ridiculous that I've never listened to it, but it is what it is. There are always albums in this world that we haven't listened to. There's a bunch of people who think I'm crazy I've never listened to this all the way through. But there's a bunch of albums I know front to back that I think it's crazy that some of you haven't listened to. It's just the way it is. You get to these albums when you get to them. But a girl and me, bitch, I'm kill you, though. Yeah, that song's a 10. It's a 10. 10. Phenomenal track. Now, obviously, talking to 10s, an established 10. In terms of album sequences, to have this come straight after, and after the first album as well. You see the video. Dear Slim, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. I left my cell, my pager, and my home phone at the bottom. My girlfriend's pregnant too. I'm about to be a father. If I have a daughter, guess what I'ma call her? I'ma name her Bonnie. I'm sorry, this is why he should be held to the highest standard in his new music, and his new music should be criticized. And I know the Eminem fans and stands go crazy about that in the comments, and it's vicious. You know, whatever. But like when you've had this in your locker, all time, all time legendary track, any genre. Storytelling masterpiece. You should be held to a higher standard. It is what it is. You just that is what it is. And it would be remiss of me and other people to not hold him to this higher standard. Although this song did inflict Dido on the world for like five years. So, you know, take the rough with the smooth. I got a room full of your posters and your pictures, man. I like the shit you did with Rockets too. That shit was bad. Dear Slim, you still ain't called a row. I hope you have a chance. I ain't mad. I just think it's fucked up you don't answer fans. If you didn't want to talk to me outside the concert, you didn't have to. But you could have signed an autograph for Matthew. That's what, see, I'm just like you in a way. I never knew my father neither. He used to always cheat on my mom and beat her. I can relate to what you're saying in your songs. So when I have a shitty day, I drift away and put them on. Cause I'm times I even cut myself to see how much it bleeds. It's like adrenaline. The pain is such a sudden rush for me. See, everything you say is real. And I respect you cause you tell it. But she don't know you like I know you slim. No one does. She don't know what That's it was switch like. Where he starts like so calling you slim. You gotta call me, man. I'll be the biggest fan you'll ever lose. That whole verse is just so deeply sinister. It is, it is shocking. Like, this is so cinematic. And obviously we have the visuals of the video in our mind and I think the first time I ever heard this was with the video I mean, a long time ago I can't remember but it also creates its own visuals as well it's so deeply cinematic with the scrolling on the page and that getting more frantic but those switches in this verse obviously when he talks suddenly about cutting himself it starts to get a bit weirder and bit weirder and bit weirder and then that then talking about yeah the tattoo across the chest and then when he says I'll be the biggest fan you ever lose is a precursor to what happens next Ah. The fact that I've heard this song a million times like everybody has and it's still so effective. I'm in a car right now. I'm doing 90 on the freeway. Hey Slim, I drink a fifth of vodka. You dare me to drive? You know the song by Phil Collins in the air of the night about that guy who could have saved that other guy from drowning but didn't? Then Phil saw it all and at a show he found him? That's kind of how this is. You could have rescued me from drowning. Now it's too late. I'm on a thousand downers now. I'm drowsy. And when you dream, I hope you can't sleep and you scream about it. I hope your conscience eats at you when you can't breathe without me. See Slim? Shut up, bitch. I'm trying to talk. Hey Slim, that's my girlfriend screaming in the trunk. But I didn't slit her throat. I just tied her up. See, I ain't like you. Because if she suffocates, she'll suffer more. And then she'll die too. Well, gotta go. I'm almost at the bridge now. Oh shit, I forgot. How am I supposed to send this shit out? <laughs> Sometimes in life, you just have to sit back and marvel at a creation of any type of art, cinema, painting, music, even video games, anything. You just have to sit back and marvel at like how, how, tapping into some sort of higher force to create and 
that is one of those moments. And he has he has plenty of them in his back catalogue. He really does. Even from a rap point of view, the way he folds the rhymes in the middle of sentences to keep that momentum going. Obviously, the energy he brings into the performance. The choice of the, the, the vocal hook, the dido hook, is perfect. It's a perfect thing. Dear Stan, I meant to write you sooner, but I've just been busy. You said your girlfriend's pregnant now. How far along is she? Look, I'm really flattered you would call your daughter that. And here's an autograph for your brother. I wrote it on the starter cap. I'm sorry I didn't see you with the show. I must have missed you. And what's the shit about us meant to be together? That type of shit'll make me not want us to meet each other. I really think you and your girlfriend need each other. But maybe you just need to treat her better. I hope you get to read this letter. I just hope it reaches you in time before you hurt yourself. I think that you'll be doing just fine. Some dude was drunk and drove his car over a bridge and had his girlfriend in the trunk. And she was pregnant with his kid. And in the car they found a tape, but they didn't say who it was to. Come to think about it, his name was... It was you. Damn. Phenomenal. Hey, Phenomenal. It's Paul. Um, Dre gave me a copy of the new album. I never knew why. I never knew why. I mean, this is a Dre beat, right? It must be. Sounds like something from Chronic 2001. Sounds like something from 50 Cent's album. Sounds amazing, but then again, it's Dr. Dre. I'm assuming it is. It clearly is. I don't do black music. I don't do white music. I make fight music for high school kids. I put wives at risk with a knife like this. Shit. You probably think I'm in your take deck now. I'm in the back seat of your truck with duct tape stretched out. <laughs> Duck the fuck way down. Waiting to straight jump out. Put it over your mouth and grab you by the face. What now? Fuck that. Take drugs. Rape sluts. Make fun of gay clubs. Men who wear makeup. Get away. Wake up. Get a sense of humor. We're trying to sense of music. This is for your kids' music. But don't blame me when little Eric jumps off of the terrace. You should have been watching him. Apparently, you ain't parents. I never knew why. Knew I would get this big. I never knew why. Knew I'd affect this kid. I never knew why. And last week, I seen this Schwarzenegger movie where he's shooting all sorts of these motherfuckers with a Uzi. I see these three little kids up in the front row, screaming go with their 17 year old uncle. In the third grade, flipping the gym teacher the bird. Look. So read up about how I used to get beat up, peed on, be on free lunch, and change school every three months. My life's like kind of what my wife's like. What? Fucked up after I beat her fucking ass every night. It's a fascinating track again. It's along the similar subject lines to the previous ones and a bit more direct than Stan. But yeah, what he speaks of is still relevant today. And you know, uh, I mean, we talk about music, people blaming music for what's happening in, in culture in real life now, whether it's the violence in America between rappers. Um, whether it's the the drill music being blamed for violence here in the UK, and there's so many other factors involved. But obviously, I remember Eminem being a direct scapegoat at the time. So many things that were happening, and there's no questioning his music is extreme. And I do think there's an element of influence that can happen from from music. I don't think it's not blame is the wrong word, but you know, the, the people take influences. But ultimately, I think sort of society and environment, and um, yeah, makeup, and I think home environment, and parenting. These are the factors that contribute to these things, far more so than, than art and the influence of art. You know, violence predates Eminem, predates drill music. It's an interesting track. It bounces as well. And, like, there's one thing about this. It feels like these days Eminem is constantly trying to show everybody and prove to everybody still that he's still got it as a rapper. And, he can, and he's, he's so amazing that he can just go to levels and levels and levels beyond. I think he's bored and he's rich and he wakes up in silk sheets, that cliche, right? But back then, it feels like when he had something to say, he also wanted to showcase to the MCs out there, you know, coming from a battle rap background, that he had the chops lyrically, rhymes, punchlines, everything like that. So the MCs who are listening to the music slightly differently, the other MCs, the real rap connoisseurs, who are listening to the track slightly differently, yeah, they're listening to the subject matter and the statements that he's saying. But they're really listening to the bars. Skipping the bebop for Christopher Reeves. Sonny Bono sees horses and hitting some trees. Hey! How many retards to listen to me? And run up in the school shooting when they're pissed at a teach. Er, I'm shady would be something that you would have bought. That would have made you get a gun mm. and shoot at the cop. I, I just said it. I ain't know if you do it or not. Cause I never knew why. Knew I would get this big. I never knew why. Excellent album track. Excellent album track. Wow, I mean, what a start to a project. My goodness me. We are talking all time at the moment. My God. So what's up? How's orders looking for the first week? It would be better if you gave me nothing at all. This what? album is less than nothing. I can't sell this fucking record. Blunts, 40s, and bitches. 
You're rapping about homosexuals and Vicodin. I, mean, I can't <laughs> sell this shit. Wait, either change the record or it's not coming out. One of the all-time beats. One of the all-time beats. Oh my god. I haven't heard this for a long time. I'm actually laughing because this album is ridiculous. It's also ridiculous. I've not listened to it front to back. But like I said, I've heard some of these songs. Treat this as a flashback reaction in some ways. Treat this as a re-exploration. As we go on through this Eminem season, there are records I've barely heard anything of. And I don't think they're going to be as good as this one, realistically. But we'll do them all because I think it'll be interesting. I sit back with this pack of zigzags in this bag of this weed. It gives me the shit needed to be the okay. most meanest and see on this sea on this earth. And since birth, I've been cursed with this curse to just curse and just bless. And I rest again peacefully. peacefully. But at least have the decency in you to leave me alone when you freak see me out in the streets when I'm eating or feeding my daughter and now you a lawyer, file you a lawsuit, I smile in the courtroom and buy you a wardrobe, I'm tired of all you I don't mean to be mean. If I remember correctly, this is a specific reference to a situation you got in where you got into a fight in maybe a club or something like that. You guys can tell me in the comments. I think I remember the story. I think I remember from covering this song a little while ago as well. More from a musical point of view, the flow switch on this song compared to everything else on the album, the intensity in the performance, something that he's had forever. But here, particularly, the tone, the timbre of his voice is incredible, using a different style of voice for this track to, to create a different mood. I am whatever you say I am. If I wasn't, then why would I say I am? In the paper, the news, every day I am. Cause I finger at me So I point one back at him But not the index of pinky Or the ring or the thumb It's the one you put up When you don't give a fuck When you won't just put up With the bullshit they pull Cause they full of shit too When a dude's getting bullied And shoots up to school And they blame it on Marilyn And the heroin Where were the parents at? And the burning is burning And I did And I am Whatever you say I am If I wasn't Then why would I say I am? I will never apologize for anything negative that I say about his newer music ever again. When you listen to that verse, if that's in you, we're going to hold you to it. Phenomenal. Incredible. All time. The album still sounds vital as well. 22 years on. And tired of being admired That I wish that I would just die Or get fired and traced To deal with these cocky Caucasians Who think I'm some wigger Who just tries Multi rhymes as well I talk with an accent And grab on my ball So they always keep asking The same fucking questions What school did I go to? What hood I grew up in? And why the who what When the where and the how I don't know This is the way I am It's just it's just a bunch of tens. I mean, who knew it wasn't a ten? But that's a ten. Stands a ten. Kill you's a ten. Now, real sim shady, super overplayed. Not really a fan of this song. Let's see how it sits this time in 2022. Big old 2022. I mean, this this hasn't aged so well. Y'all act like you never seen a white person before. Jaws all on the floor like Pam, like Tommy just burst in the door. We started whooping her ass worse than before. They first were divorced, sewing her over furniture. Rhymes are crazy, though. Wait, no, wait, you're kidding. He didn't just say what I think he did, did he? And Dr. Dre said, nothing, you idiots. Dr. Dre's dead. He's locked in my basement. I mean, that beat is mad, isn't it? It's like some old, weird, weird time, like medieval... I don't even know what instrument that is. Some like jaunty little thing that they have in a dance at Game of Thrones before a load of people got murked. Mom is on your lips. My mom is on your lips. And if I'm lucky, you might just give it a little kiss. And that's the message that we deliver to little kids. And expect them not to know what a woman's clitoris is. Of course they're gonna know what in the course is. By the time they hit fourth grade, they got the Discovery Channel. It's a follow-up to My Name Is. The fact that he managed to follow up My Name Is with something of such a similar energy and still capture that kind of zeitgeist at the time, 2000 is amazing. Like I say, I don't think this is aged anywhere near as well as the rest of the records on here, the rest of the eight songs on here so far, but it's fine. It is what it is. I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just demonstrating. So won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. And the only difference is I got the balls to say it in front of y'all, and now I don't gotta be false or sugar-coated at all. I just get on the mic and spit it, and whether you like to admit it, I just shit it better than 90% of you This rappers. is the best verse in this track. Do you wonder how can kids eat up these albums like volumes? This is the real Slim Shady. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. Cause I'm Slim Shady. Yes, I'm the real Shady. All you want is Slim Shady. So just imitating. So what's the real Slim Shady? 
I mean, for what is still essentially a novelty song, and some people might get mad at me for saying that, but it kind of is. The rapability on it is still phenomenal. The rhyme choices, the flow patterns, still amazing. Like I said, it's not something I'm throwing on my playlist anytime soon. It's a proper G Funk. Let's go. Remember me. I have no remorse. Remember me. The term universe Without no rehearsal Holly words is controversial Like I'm not the one you wanna contest See, cause I'll hit your ass Like the train did that bitch that got Remember me this has got kind of an almost new metal Eerie, slip knotty, mud veiny Insane clown posse e Energy to it That feels very of the time he told no Yeah, I've been told no But it was more like No, 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 no. Life a bitch Better fuck you if you let her Better come better than better To be a competitor This better's ahead of the shit is a redder You deader and deader I met her instead of The cheddar's incredible Settle vendetta With metal beretta From ghetto to ghetto Ever did? No, never leave a shredder I got ruckus and drop block Busts around the clock Hustlers Right, it's absolutely touches. Chewing this up My God Chewing it up You think it could be Something I said When I go out I'm going to go out shooting. I don't mean when I die. I mean when I go out to the club, stupid. <laughs> I'm trying to clean up my fucking image. So I promised the fucking critics I wouldn't say fucking for six minutes. Oh, but you saying she's hard? Came home and somebody must have broken the back window and stole two loaded machine guns and both of my trench coats. Six, six, Jesus. Queens, the picnic scenes. Two kids, 16. With them 16s and 10 clips each. And them shits reach through six kids each. Dre, grab the gas. Zoom, where is that? The fuck you staring at? Don't you nigga? remember me? Jesus. Straight into this one. The performance in the booth from Eminem on his album is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Heard of a mind, it's perverted as mine. You better get rid of that nine. It ain't gonna help. What good's it gonna do against the man that strangles himself? I'm waiting for hell. Like hell, shit, I'm anxious as hell. Man, what do I think of success? It sucks. Too much stress, stress. Too much stress, depressed. Too upset, it's just too much mess. I guess I must just blew up quick. It's perfect. Read my lips, bitch. What? My mouth isn't working? You hear this finger? Oh, it's upside down. Here, let me turn this motherfucker up right now. Listen, people will always gravitate towards the anti-establishment person that's prepared to talk out. We've seen it right now. We've seen it recently. I mean, I'm not really comparing the two, but like the whole Andrew Tate thing. A lot of people, a lot of people gravitated to what he was saying. And there was obviously an incredible amount of controversy around it as well. And he was kind of effectively like removed and deplatformed is what happens these days. So that didn't really happen to Eminem, but they certainly tried it. It was a little bit different. I think Eminem, you know, is they're, they're very, very different characters. The things they're saying are very, very different. And I think their intentions are extremely different as well. I and mean, obviously one is an artist and one isn't. Uh, I'm not even really comparing it to, but I'm just saying that there's always been these figures where people gravitate to. And especially younger people that are they're sick of the system, to be honest. And I think that fire that Eminem had back then in 2000 was extremely compelling. And he has lost some of that over the years, but becoming a little bit more establishment himself, which is sort of it as an inevitability to that as he gets older and so incredibly wealthy. I mean, it just is what it is. That that cycle will continue and has, you know, has previously been the case for, for thousands of years, I think. That will always be the case. Feeds into the shit, he's an innocent victim and becomes a puppet on the string of my tennis shoe. My name is Slim Shady. I've been crazy way before radio didn't play me. Bass Slim for Pete's sakes. Put down Christopher Reed's legs. Jeez, you guys are so sensitive. Slim, it's a touchy subject. Try just don't mention it. Mind with no sense in it. Try to get so frenical. Christopher Reed catches so many strays from Eminem. It's so harsh. Four over a nine. A Mac 11 in an order solve the problem of mine. And that's a whole school of bullies. Shot up all the one time. Cause mm. Shady, they call me as crazy as the world was over this whole wide two. Thing in biz to be Jennifer Lopez and Puffy, you know this. I'm sorry, Puff, but I don't give a fuck if this chick was my own mother. I'd still fuck her with no rubber and come Jesus. inside her and have a son and a new brother at the same time <laughs> and just say that it ain't mine. What's my name? <laughs> oh my god, loves a long outro. Slim Shady loves a long outro, Dr. Dre. The fuck you want from me? Ten million dollars? Fuck out of here. You see, I'm. 
That's Marshall Mathers. Marshall Mathers. I'm just a regular guy. I don't know why all the fuss about me. You might see me walking in dead rot while a dog with his head chopped off in the park with a spike collar, hollering at him because the son of a bitch won't quit barking. Or leaning out a window with a cock shotgun. Watching all these cheap imitations get rich off them and get dollars that should have been theirs like they switched wallets. And amidst all this crisp pop. Fucking hell. I do recognize the hook from this song. I've heard this before, but I've never really listened to the verses. That verse is incredible. Riding out the window with a cock shotgun in the car where they shot Park in. And then he's talking about how everybody was cashing in from the desk at Tupac and Biggie and how they swap wallets. The little switch up in there from this kind of psychotic to the to the more conscious, the actual conscious there. And shit like some 26 year old skinny car. God damn it. And then yeah. Pax Street and Ricky Martin. Cause instincts to kill sync. Don't get me started. Then sync again. <laughs> rap can't sing and Britney's garbage. What's this bitch retarded? Give me back my $16. Suck the lot of dick. Boy, girl groups make me sick. And I can't wait till I catch all you faggots in public. I'm a love. A different time. A different time. Destroy your little four year old boy or girl. Plus, I was put here to put fear in faggots to spray fake or root beer and call themselves clowns because they look queer. <laughs> it's just like the, the fucking homophobia in this track. Is, uh, yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't hear that now, and like, obviously not condoning it, but that was far more common back then. Just throwing that language around. Uh, ICP catching not strays. These are directs to, to ICP. I mentioned them before. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I guess they had some sort of issue. I can't even really remember. You seen a fucking mile road south of ten, and I don't need help from D12 to beat up two females and make up who may try to scratch me. That was really nails. going for him. Slim anus, you damn right, slim anus. I don't get fucked in mind like you two little flaming faggots. <laughs> Just on the ground, just spun around and did a 360. Now these kids diss me and act like some big sissies. Oh, he just did some shit with Missy. So now he thinks he's too big to do some shit with MC. Get busy. All I had to do was go in the room and lift up a mattress. Mm. Which is a bitch, Mrs. Briggs and Miss Mathers. It doesn't matter. Skip to the last page, flip right fast. And what do I see? A picture of my big white ass. Okay, let me give you motherfuckers some help. Uh, here, double XL, double XL. Fascinating song that's like very much at the time a lot of the people getting um getting shot very much at the time. Magazine being relevant very much of the time, although obviously Double is still around and they've done quite well on social media to be fair. As a slower, more pared down track, I think it's interesting to hear him rapping like this. Again, still no doubt in the ability, still no doubt in the intensity. I like the different style of this track. It's it's a wild one to hear. That's the craziest thing in, in 2022. This is probably the wildest track on the album now because you just don't hear that language anymore, and rightly so, but like I say, it was different back then. Oh, suck it. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, suck it. Certain moments in life when you're reacting to music that you just don't even really want to be on camera, and this is one of them. With it now, oh, just suck it. Nice and slow, yeah. Oh, oh fuck yeah, you can Back when Mark Wahlberg was Marky Mark This is how we used to make the party start We used to mix in with Bacardi Dark And when it kicks in, you can hardly talk And by a couple of minutes, that bottle of Guinness is finished You are now allowed to officially slap bitches The beat is amazing The way that piano came in, absolutely amazing And that actually reminded me when he talks about being sick in a lobby I was once sick in a hotel lobby 16 I went to a like an organised party They used to do that where I grew up They'd, they'd organise like parties in, in hotel function rooms and you have to buy a ticket and you, everyone would go and then people would try and use fake IDs to get drinks and managed to use a fake ID to get uh, four cans of Fosters beforehand and I met up with a couple of friends and I drank the four cans of Fosters and all I had to eat that evening was a packet of squares. Now if you're American or from a different country you might not know what they are but it's basically just like square potato chips crisps just a little one which is weird because my wife literally just bought a big packet of squares so it's all coming together right now. That's all I had. And I was absolutely slaughtered at this thing. I was only 16, remember? Ended up, I think I managed to secure one more drink in the party. I can't remember anything, but all I can remember is stumbling out and throwing up in the lobby of this hotel. And it is the nicest hotel on where I grew up, all over the floor, stumbled into the toilet, throwing up in the toilet, coming back out, feeling really sorry for myself, guilty and obviously awful, seeing some poor guy cleaning up the vomit with a mop in this hotel lobby, carpeted hotel lobby, by the way. Bad times.
Be careful with your drinking, kids. Let me out of this place. I'm out of place. I'm in outer space. I've just vanished without a trace. I'm going to a pretty place now where the flowers grow. I'll be back in an hour or so. Every time I go to try to leave, Whoa. some kids yeah. pulling on my sleeve. Scheming on the first chick with the hugest boobs. I got no game. And every face looks the same. They got no name. So I don't need game to play. I just get caught cheating and I'm stuck with you. But in the long run, these drugs are probably going to catch up sooner or later. But fuck it, I'm on one. So let's enjoy. Let the ex destroy your spinal cord. So it's not a straight line no more. Whoa. These drugs really got a hold of me. That's the sound of a bottle when it's hollow. When you swallow it all, wallow and drown in your sorrow. And tomorrow, you're probably going to want to do it again. What's a little spinal fluid between you and a friend? Screw, live it however you want to. Marriage you want to is everywhere. Where was you brought up? Ooh. Like, this track doesn't have the impact of some of the tracks on this record, but it's not this track's fault because some of the tracks on this record, like Stan, that's just unbelievable. But on other albums, this would be a standout. And some of the rhymes he's using here, some of the lines, some of the bars, outstanding. Again, like, the message that he's saying here is. It's a cry for help. It really is. But it's a jam as well. My mother's throat. <laughs> Guess who Slim said he just signed it in his throat. My little sister's birthday. She remember me. Forgive for had killing my boy. Take a virginity. And bitches know me as a horny ass. I don't know why, but when somebody else comes on one of his songs and starts speaking like this, it always sounds really, really uncomfortable in a way that Eminem just doesn't. I think it's just because he's so established in doing it. He's filled with a bunch of fucking idiots still. still. That's why the first motherfucker popping some city gets killed. Kill. That's why we don't call it Detroit, we call it Amityville. Fail. You can get capped after just having a cavity filled. Plus the registration, it just made this shit valid this year. Yeah. Cause once I snap, I can't be held accountable for my accident. That's when accidents happen. When And this is probably the most album-y album track, album tracky album-y track, album, you know what I'm trying to say, on the record, I would say. It's kind of cool, but it's sort of washing over me. You know when you get an album like this and you're getting into it, man, some of these tracks. So when one doesn't live up to that, you're just kind of like, okay, this is here, this is here. No, he didn't. They didn't do it again. What, what? What? You nah, shit on all the boys on this one, Dre, Snoop, Exhibit, and Nate Dog, rest in peace. Play back and kick some old simplistic pimp shit on slim shit and start rise like Listen that beat. Stone guilty conscience at concerts and watch mosh pits. Some motherfuckers knock each other unconscious. Your wrong move to stare me the wrong way. I got a long ooze and I carry it all day. Sometimes it's like a nightmare to be an honest. Did them write this verse with Dre? It sounds like it, but, you know, I always like to hear Dre rap. I don't care who's writing it. Some have some way. Hmm. Nigga, you know about dog games. Ah, now let me cut these niggas up and show 'em where the fuck I'm coming from. I get the party cracking from the shit that I be spitting. Yeah. And you don't really wanna fuck with me. Only nigga that I trust is me. Fuck around and make the all time king of the hook. The devil, they always wanna change. I'm the head nigga in charge. I'm watching hmm. your move. You found dead in your garage with ten o'clock news covered about to bust. It's like ashes exhibit to ashes to became a bit of a joke over the years because of Pimp My Ride. Incidentally, I'm seeing adverts for Pimp My Ride coming back here in the UK with Lady Leisha presenting it. Regardless, kind of weird calling it Pimp My Ride in 2022. Listen, exhibit, like I say, it became a bit of a joke over the years, and you know he lent into it. But I remember when he was spitting back at this time as well when he was having radio hits. And the guy was hard. You hear it here. Let me recite to Timothy White. Pickets outside the Interscope offices every night. What if he's right? I'm just a criminal. Making a living off of the world's misery. What in the world gives me the right to say deep down is a decent human being in me? It just can't be found. So the reason you've been seeing this me is because this is me now. The recent dude is being this me. So when you see me dressing up like a nerd on TV or heard the CD using the fag word so freely, it's just me being me. Here, want me to tone it down? Suck my fucking dick, you faggot. You happy now? Look here. Slim Shady. Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, X to the Z, Nate Dogg, come on, yeah. Yeah, definitely one of those tracks of the era, but yeah, still sounding good, some 22 years later. Yesterday I changed your diaper, wiped you and powdered you, how did you get so pink? 
Can't believe it. Now you're too. Sit down, bitch, and move again. I'll beat the shit out of you. Don't make me wake this baby. She don't need to see what I'm about to do. Quit crying, bitch. Why you always make me shout at you? How could you just leave me and love him out the blue? Aw, oh, what's the matter, Kim? Am I too loud for you? My place? Are you out your mind? This couch? This TV? This whole house is mine. How could you let him sleep in our bed? Look at Kim. Look at your husband now. I mean, I've heard this before. I think I reacted to this before back on Rock Reacts. It is an unbelievably, like, harrowing, shocking piece of music. The performance, again, in the booth from Eminem is unbelievable. The intensity of the production, unbelievable. The, obviously, the subject matter is extremely intense. The connection between this and the rest of the album the connection between this and Stan, obviously. And in terms of like the out al of the album, not losing energy, but just kind of like falling into a pattern, I would guess. And then the riff, wake you back up with this one. My God. What, you think I'm kidding you? <laughs> you loved him, didn't you? Both of you bitch, don't fucking lie to me. What the fuck, this guy's problem on the side of me. I hate you, I hate you. I swear to God, I hate you. Oh my God, I love you. I don't see how you can follow that. There's two more songs on this album. I don't really see how you can follow that. It's a shocking piece of art. It's extremely uncomfortable listen, even now. Whew. Blimey. So you can suck my dick if you don't like my shit. A young ass man with a trash can strapped to the back of his ass so the rats can't shoot through his last pants. I'm like a mummy at night fighting with bright lightning, frightening the white viking and pills. Connect frightening. with a song like this like after that, to be honest. I mean, it felt like this was probably a showcase for D12, and obviously they came out and had their songs afterwards, Purple Pills or Purple Hills or whatever it's called, and, and some others I remember from the time, but how can you follow that? How can you follow that? I mean, has there ever been a song like that? It's just unbelievable. Degrading, creating murders to kill haters. Accused for every crime known through the equator. That drink Kalu and gin, throw up on the mic. Your life is ruined. You can sock right on sight. And even at the million man march, we gon' fight. Sorry, slash your tires, flying down, fickle and mire. Place expired, tunes I'm high and I'm fire. Jacking my dick off in the bed of barbed wire. Hey, it's Bitch, can you read the flyer? Special invited guests will be. Richard Pryor, homer for letting the record skip, letting the record skip, letting the record skip. <laughs> I'm fucking anything when I'm snorting. It's gonna cost three hundred dollars to get my pit bull an abortion. A loser, half thief and half black. Bring your boys and your guns and get laughed at. Bitch smack a rich rappers get a jag jack. It's a good track. It honestly, it just feels like a bonus track though. Call your house and hang up on you for not giving me no. Born straight up out of pussy. 
pussies but a son of a gun. Yeah, you just can't follow that track. It's like trying to put on a film trailer or something after the end of the World Cup final. Nobody gives a shit. What an album. Unbelievable. I do think it should have ended at Kim. Maybe it did. Maybe these are bonus tracks. I don't know. It doesn't say that. Watching my genitals bulging. That's my motherfucking balls. You better let go of them. They belong in my scrotum. You'll never get hold of them. Hey, it's me, Versace. Whoops, somebody shot me. And I was just checking the mail. Get it? Checking the mail. Preacher, fifth grade teacher. You can't reach me. My mom can't neither. You can't teach me a goddamn thing. Cause crime. These people think it's a crime to tell them what's on my mind. I guess I'm a criminal. I don't gotta say a word. I just split in the bird and keep going. I don't take shit from no one. Your mother did drugs, hard liquor, cigarettes, and speed. The baby came out this yeah, this is the same as the other one. You can't follow that track. You just can't follow that track. It was still sitting with me and I'm nodding my head and this is Eminem in 2002 or 2000. Sounded like Eminem in 2000. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride when I drive in it. So when I rob a pen, run out and just dive in it. So I'll be disguised in it. And if anybody identifies the guy in it, I hide for five minutes. Come back, shoot the witness. Fire at the private eye. Hide the prior mind. The eye rhyme going through that. I, 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 I. Maybe he just needed a little bit of a softening. Not that this is a soft track at all. But maybe it was just too shocking an ending to end on Kim. I don't know. But still, amazing record. Really excited now to go back through these albums. To see the potential decline and there's going to be peaks and troughs. More and more songs that I haven't heard. More and more moments that I need to hear. And an essential part. And do you know what? Even the songs that I have heard, it's actually made me think. I should probably do this with some other artists like Kanye. Obviously, I know Kanye back to front, but I think these make for fun, fun things to to react to and re-react to and reappreciate because you listen in a different mode when you're doing this. If you've ever done one yourself, and I always recommend it to everybody, you do listen in a different mode. You listen in a different way. Maybe you've got lyrics open, or you appreciate things in a different way, and even songs that you know really well and have listened to many, many, many times, or you know, like Stan. Who's not heard Stan a hundred thousand times? It gives you a different appreciation when you're in that mode, when you're in concentration mode, when you're trying to you're trying to activate your brain to think about different things and you hear different things, even within the the moment, it, it sparks off different things in your mind. So. It's actually, it's got me thinking. We'll see how all these videos do. I'm excited for the season though. It needed to happen. It's been a long time coming, but it's happening right now. And thank you very much for the support. Patrons, you're the ones seeing this first early, supporting the channel, the real ones who need you. And I appreciate all of you. So thank you very much. And I'll catch you all in the next one, right? Peace. Get yourself involved with Scentbird. Make sure you use my coupon code DENTON for 55% off your first month's order. Link down in the description and is available in the US and Canada. Thanks to Scentbird for sponsorship. Check out the links below the like button.